All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cisco and I help you unlock the power of AI for your digital marketing. If that's something that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications. Now in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a really cool video editing tool called V.io. Now this tool is gonna allow you to create professional looking videos in minutes, if not seconds, without having to download complex video editing softwares. Now, what am I gonna cover in this video? Well, I'm gonna talk about some of V.io's AI features. I'm also gonna do a quick tutorial showing you how this tool works. I'm gonna share with you some of what I think are the pros, the cons, show you how their pricing structure is laid out. And then finally, I'm just gonna cover with you who I think should use this tool. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into the video. Okay, so what is V.io? Now this is an online video editing platform powered by AI and designed to make your video creation as easy as possible. You can edit videos, you can add subtitles to the videos, you can add AI voiceovers and a lot more all from your browser, meaning you don't have to download any type of software onto your device. Now, some of the key AI features I wanna tell you about, for example, they have AI auto editing, which is gonna allow you to cut silences and it optimizes your clips. They have auto-generated subtitles, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. They have text-to-speech AI, which I'm also gonna show you in just a moment. They have an AI script generator, which pretty much helps you plan your videos. And then they also have, last but not least, auto resize for social media, meaning that any clip, you can go ahead and adapt it, or actually the tool is gonna adapt it for whatever platform you need to upload it, whether it's TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, you name it, the tool is gonna make sure that it fits that particular platform, all right? So let's go ahead, let's take a dive into V.io, and let me show you how this tool actually works. All right, guys, so once you have signed up for your free account with V.io, which is pretty straightforward, all you need is just your email account, and they're gonna send you a confirmation number to your email. Just put it in and you'll be right in here. So this is their dashboard right here, their interface. It's pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to navigate, pretty clean. All you wanna do here is, so as you can see, you have, I, I have a recent video up here that I was playing around with a little bit. Um, obviously, if you're just getting started, you're not gonna have anything down here. But up here, this is where the magic happens. This is when you select what type of project you wanna create, right? So for this, they have the create uh, part right here where you could create a new project, record a video, create an avatar of yourself. You can create clips. This is just in beta, but I'm, I'm gonna show you real quick how it works because I actually didn't like this one. Um, you also have some AI edits. Again, some of the things here from the previous one you'll see, but they have like the remove background right here, which is really nice. AI dubbing, also in beta. Uh, you can generate the subtitles. Eye contact correction, so you know, make sure that you're always looking at, at, the, at the camera, right? Pretty important. And then also you have some clean audio right here. Now, the one that I'm gonna be showing you real quick is the AI text to video. And by the way, this is your templates here. Um, they have this for templates, but I believe this is only if, you're, uh, if you have a paid plan, and I believe it's for the enterprise. Not really sure, but that's what it seems like. I'm not really gonna go into that because I'm just using the free account. And most people are just gonna start with the free account, of course. So let's go ahead and go try out this AI text to video. So here, they ask you what kind of video do you wanna create? Now they give you different options, social media, generative, business, training, or other. I'm gonna leave it just like that, social media, and I'm gonna paste in a prompt that I created. This is pretty basic. It says the year is 20, 2050. AI isn't just smart, it's everywhere. Self-driving cities, AI doctors saving lives, blase, blase. I'm gonna click one, generate video, see what V.io comes up with. with the year is actually, 2050. Pretty much creating our video, I think. Or no, actually we have to um, do some stuff here on the side. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and click on portrait. And I'm just gonna leave it at portrait because I think that's what I want for social media, right? As a reel. And then it says presenter. I don't think we need a presenter, so I'm not gonna, um, I'm gonna just click on voice only. And then here, 
Of course, you have the option to choose what language you want your voice to be in. I'm just gonna leave it in English and I'm gonna select the voice here. So maybe not, sounds a little bit too robotic, which... The year is 2050. AI isn't just smart, it's... AI isn't just yeah, smart, I, I, it's... I gotta tell you guys, I'm not very thrilled with the voices that they have here. They sound very robotic, in my opinion. Um, I did make a video about a, um, a particular tool that you can use uh, for AI uh, voices. I'm gonna leave a link right up here so you can check it out. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and select, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna select any one of these guys. Doesn't really matter. The year is 2050. Let's go with this guy. AI isn't just, just to smart. show you guys what it's like. And then down here, you also have, you can select the type of subtitle, the style, right, for the subtitle. So again, not really gonna complicate it too much. I'm gonna go ahead and select this lay right here. I'm gonna click on continue. And then it's asking me to choose the tone of voice, target audience, and make any final edits to the script. Of course, I can go ahead and make any edits, edits that I want here. But of course, I'm pretty satisfied with the script. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. Also target audience. Um, you know, you can play around with this. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Click on continue. All right, guys, so here is the final product. This is the video that it came up with right now. I'm gonna go ahead and click on play. It's actually, let me see where it is. It's actually 48 seconds. The year is 2050, and AI is woven into the very fabric of our lives. Imagine stepping into a self-driving city where traffic flows seamlessly, and every corner is optimized for efficiency. My eye doctor knows my health better than I do, predicting issues before they arise and personalizing treatments just for me. Virtual assistants anticipate my needs, managing my schedule, my home, even my meals, freeing me to focus on what truly matters. But with all this power at our fingertips, the real question is, how will I use AI? Will I harness it to enhance my creativity, explore new passions, or connect with others in ways I never thought possible? Or will I let it dictate my choices losing touch with my own instincts. The future is bright, but it's up to me to steer the course. All right, so not that bad. I mean, definitely there's some um, some videos here, video clips that I would change personally, but for the most part, I actually ended up enjoying the voice. It was pretty nice, it sounded a little bit more natural than the other ones, um, so I like that. And then here, like I said, you can resize this for social media. So you can click on this and resize it if you like. You could change the background colors. And again, if you want to change like any of the video clips, you can go ahead and just click on them. Okay. You can um, right click over here and you can say um, replace media. Now, the thing with this that I uh, found out is that, for example, some of the stock videos, so let's say that. I wanted to find, so here it is. Some of the stock videos, they have this um, this thing here, which pretty much tells you that these videos you can't use on the free uh, plan. So you would have to upgrade in order to have access to them. So that is kind of a bummer, but what you can do, for example, in my case, I do have Canva. And let's say, for example, that I wanted to replace this clip right here with a self-driving car. But what I found out when I tried to do it here on V.io is that, of course, none of them, none of the self-driving cars, um, let me show you real quick, none of them are for the free version, okay? All of them are only for the uh, paid versions of V.io. So what you can do, or what I did is, for example, let me go here and um, let me replace this and let me upload the one that I just um, created. So let me see here, right here. This one, let me add that in there. And you know, just like that, I can go ahead and replace that video clip, um, you know, pretty much for free. All right, now let's see real quick if it did replace it. The year is 2050 so and AI is working into a better the very job, fabric but, All right, that's good enough. All right. and. You know, you have different options here to play with. Of course, the ones that have this yellow uh, sticker here, you could tell obviously they're for the paid version. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty neat, pretty cool. Uh, you can replace videos. You can go ahead and click on done if you're satisfied with your video, okay? This is automatically gonna up uh, export your video. And as you can see right here, it is gonna have a watermark, 
okay so again you will have to upgrade to remove that watermark and just like that you would have your video created so the year is 2050 and ai is woven into the very fabric of our lives i'm not really too much imagine of a fan stepping of this. into a self-driving city job, where traffic flows seamlessly of course I and every corner is optimized for efficiency good at all. my eye doctor knows my health better than i do that I predicting issues before they arise and personalizing treatments just for me virtual I mean, assistants anticipate my needs Managing my schedule, like the my home, music even my meals, freeing me to focus on what truly matters. Is pretty good, but with all this say. power at our fingertips, the real question is, how will I use AI? Will I harness it to enhance my creativity? So, there you have it right there, guys. That is how you can use the AI text-to-video feature on V.io. Now, let me show you some other features as well. All right, guys, so this is another little feature I wanted to show you guys, and it's the clips feature that they have. So you can take like a longer piece of content from you know your YouTube channel or wherever, and you can turn this into like different types of clips, right? Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you this from the start because apparently you can only use this feature one time if you are a free user, but, um, I did save this, so I still want to show you. So, for example, I took this video right here, how to get free leads using Facebook groups, all right? And then I used it here, okay? I put it in the v.io, and then it just cut out a bunch of clips from it, right? And then not only that, it gives you, like, a score, all right? They, they give you a score on how well they think it's going to perform. And right here, I want to show you just one clip, this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on play just to show Cisco you. Cisco here with CiscoJDS.com. You know, and I wanted to ask you, you, do you think the only way to generate leads online is actually to pay for advertisement? Well, the short answer is no. So that is right there, like how you can go ahead and take your longer uh, videos and turn them into clips. Now, of course, you can do a lot of other things here, uh, you know, to, to fix your clips to make them like you want them to look all right you can change like the background color you know you can change the image if you want as well um you know there's different things you can do of course the audio but this is all with the paid versions of it but i mean pretty much i like this feature i think it's a really neat feature for them um and that is what i wanted to show you right here okay guys so i just wanted to talk about real quick their pricing structure all right so if you see here this is their pricing okay right now you can see they have a light plan all right this is the basic plan that they have when you upgrade from the free plan and you're going to be able, you're going to be paying nine bucks if you have this ticked right here the annual discount okay as you can see it's ticked and it's going to be for nine dollars which i think it's pretty cheap okay you're going to have access to these features right here to these things right here now then moving up to the pro plan this is their best value of course it is all right this one is going to be for 24 dollars if you again paying it yearly and i think that definitely this is the best value um because you are getting for example you get to um access to all the ai tools all right you also get 4k ultra hd exports which definitely is way better than the full hd 1080p so definitely a plus right there you get access to the full stock audio and video library so definitely a plus because if you noticed in the free plan that was very limited so definitely the pro plan i would say is the one to go for now they have the enterprise plan but of course you have to talk to their sales team first now another thing i wanted to show you down here so if we click on plan features and we scroll down they do have this uh, frequently asked questions section now i like this part right here because they kind of break down how everything works right so they showed you for example let's say that you want to cancel you can cancel at any time all right they tell you exactly how you can cancel and when you do cancel you'll still continue to have access to all the premium features until the end of your billing cycle which is really important right they're not gonna you know once you cancel it doesn't mean that boom that's it you can't go back and, and use the premium features so i like that i think that you know it shows transparency from their part um they also tell you like what currencies and payment options are available to you 
they also right here um where was it where was it the refund policy which also is very important you can read about it in their terms of sales page so these things right here guys i think are very important they show that it's a transparent company nothing to hide right they're they're running business as honestly as possible in my opinion so definitely is something that's going to put your mind at ease and know that you're not going to be you know um having your money like at stake here okay so definitely i like that all right now i just wanted to talk about a little bit about some of the pros and the cons in my opinion now as far as the pros i gotta say that v.io definitely very easy to use okay you can use this tool in a matter of minutes you can start using it and you can get going pretty easily because their dashboard their interface is so easy to navigate everything is just so easy to understand um, that it's not going to take you days to figure this out okay now definitely a plus another thing that I enjoy is that you know they do offer a lot of AI automation which definitely helps you as far as like customize customizing editing your videos it you know it, it it saves you time okay so definitely a plus another thing that I enjoyed is that you can use this tool on your browser you don't need to download it or anything like that which I really don't like because obviously it, it kind of slows down your device so definitely a, a plus or a pro all right now some of the things I didn't like well yes in the free plan they do have the watermark that doesn't really bother me I mean I know a lot of people are bothered by that they don't like that but then again, if you're not paying for their subscription for their plans, then they do gotta, you know, be able to at least show the name of their business or the name of their company somewhere. And that's understandable. I don't really, you know, I don't really have a problem with that. But the one thing I didn't I didn't like, guys, and at V.io, if you're watching, please, man, you gotta you gotta let people use your uh, features, your premium features at least three times. I mean, I showed you guys what the uh, Create Clips um, feature was like, where you upload a longer video and you cut it into, or you chop it up into different clips. I was only able to do that one time. So definitely, I think that they can do better with that and allow you to at least use this feature three times or whatever other feature that they have. I mean, that's really a turn off for me. I've used other tools where you can use particular features at least three times. So, yeah, that would be one thing I didn't really enjoy. Other than that, guys, um, besides that, yeah, just the, the at the end of when I was rendering my video that you've seen how my subtitles came out all like one on top of another, that, you know, you have to make some slight corrections. That's fine. Nothing out of this world. But, you know, then again, they could definitely like work on that, I think, a little bit more. Other than that, guys, I'm pretty satisfied with this tool. I think that it does a great job. Do I think it's worth it? Yes, I think it's worth it. If you're looking for an AI power tool that's beginner friendly and it's going to help you edit your videos quick, then yes, I do recommend this tool. Um, and I would say that this tool is like pretty much for content creators, for marketers, educators, podcasters, just anybody looking to put out videos nice and quick, right? With not that much of a learning curve so yes i definitely got to say that this tool is worth it i am going to leave a link down in the comment section as well as in the description it is an affiliate link guys if you do decide to sign up to v.io and you do upgrade to one of their uh, paid plans through my link then i do earn a small commission at no extra cost to you it does help support the channel it does motivate me to keep making out these uh review videos for you so yeah uh, please consider that and also leave me a comment letting me know what AI video editing tools you have used or you enjoy or if you have any suggestions as to what type of tool you want me to review next. With that said guys, if you enjoyed this review, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and until next time guys, see you in the next video. Bye for now.